How big can we go? How big can we go? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god, I broke the game! I actually had a blue screen there. How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome to Dojagi, the Korean pottery simulator. Yes, we are making pottery in VR today and I gotta say, I'm very excited about that because I've always wanted to make pottery, never actually done it. It's probably gonna go absolutely awful but uh, we'll see what happens here and we're gonna get right into it. Now before we get too deep though, I do want to say this is a sponsored video so thanks to the developers for supporting the channel and sponsoring a video. If at any time throughout playing this you guys want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description where you can do so. Alright, so there's two modes in this game. We actually have a career mode where you can uh, live out your pottery making career and a workshop mode where you can do whatever you want. We're gonna do the workshop mode today uh, just because I want to do whatever I want. So we have choices. We can go to a house, a cottage, or an atelier. A atelier? A atelier? That thing. Or we can go to that thing too. I'm gonna go to the cottage because this is a Korean pottery simulator and this is a cottage in Korea. So let's do that. And that was a quick loading scheme. All right, there we go. We're here. So with this one, we can do whatever we want. Now you can actually buy things and uh, kind of pimp out your, your cottage here if you want. As you can see, mine is not too hot right now. We actually do have the old clay making machine it looks like over here. All right, so you can actually uh, see what it does. Machine to automatically mix and make the clay for easy throwing. It removes the bubbles by using a vacuum to make the work go easier. All right, well, at least we got some piece of machineries. Can I actually use it? I think it's just here for visual, but I mean, you may as well try, right? <laughs> Looks like an old turd come out of there. And then, of course, we have a sink as well, made for washing hands or water supply. Okay, well, very basic setup right now, obviously. We have everything we need right here, so let's get into it and try and make some pots. Now, I believe, yes, this is how you get to the shop. So you can actually buy some things, as you can see. Uh, for upgrades, so we'll definitely want to be doing that. We need some trim tools and whatnot. Uh, you can even buy a hammer. A small tool for applying force to objects. You can break pottery with this hammer. Oh my god, we need that. We unfortunately have, I think, no money right now. Yeah, down there it says we have no money. So we got to sell some pots before we can buy anything. So let's just get into it. I don't know what I'm doing, and we're going to set up some clay. So we got our clay here. We can actually resize this. All right, so I think for the start, we need something kind of easy. I'm going to try and make a plate. Don't know if it will go in that direction, but hey, that's looking kind of like a plate. All right, so we need to wet the hands. Oh yeah, play with that water. There we go. And then obviously this is the foot pedal. Unfortunately, the VR doesn't support feet yet, so we uh, have to use our hands for that. And I guess we just go right into it. So there is different types of modes you can do um, and different types of uh, hand movements. Obviously, if you know anything about pottery, you probably know what I'm doing. I don't really know, but this is going to, I know, form kind of like a... A concave middle here. Oh my god, this is very pleasing to do. Yes! Okay, that was maybe a little too much, but hey, we'll just work around it here and try and get it a little bit better. So we want to flatten the sides a little bit. Let's actually work on that rim. Alright, so we're just gonna try and spread out that rim a little bit. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Oh, it's getting a little wobbly. Holy crap, I'm actually making a plate. This I didn't expect this, guys. Alright, straight it out, make it nice and small. How's it looking? Oh, I need to wash my hands. There we go. Look at that. Getting dirty already. All right, so we're going to work on the sides again here. There we go. Pull it up. Pull it up. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a salad bowl plate. You know what? Actually, we have a tool here. This thing came free. It's a trimming tool. Why is the information behind me? By the way, I got to look all the way behind me. Shapes a constant surface according to depth. Okay, you expect me to know what that means. So we're just going to try this thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, it's actually working. Oh, my God. This is so fun. All right, so we want to thin the side a little bit, have kind of like a sharp edge. There we go. Oh, God, we're going to have to go all the way down, though. This is dangerous. This is where it's going to probably break or something. But, hey, I'm actually kind of... Can I do this part? Or do I have to hand do this? No, it's looking like it's actually working. There we go. And we got to get the whole middle gone. Oh, my God, this is so fun. Okay, well, it's not perfectly flat, but I got to say, considering this was my first bowl I ever did... I'm pretty damn pumped. Now we have these uh, cheese cutters here. That's what I, that's what they look like anyways. But yeah, this is obviously, it's a cut. We're going to try and cut the bowl off. Okay, hopefully that's good. Oh God, did I do it wrong? Oh God, what am I doing? Don't tell me I just cut. Did I just cut it in half? Oh, what is going on? Okay, I think I at least cut it. 
I don't think that went very well. Oh, God. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're going to discard this piece. Uh, I kind of like this, you know? I don't know. It's, like, artistic. You know, I was doing so good until the cheese cutter thing. Uh, I just I just needed to go a little bit deeper. Can I, can I mend it? You know what? I think somebody will buy this for some weird reason. Let's, um, let's try and paint it. Okay, but here's our paintbrush, so we're gonna try and paint this thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I screwed this up. It was going so good until then. Um, I know there's a way to get, like, different types of paint. Oh, I think, I don't know if we can paint on the wheel, maybe. Maybe that's the problem. Hold on, what if we hold it? Oh, yeah, we have to hit start painting. Okay, so there we go. Now, can I put it on the wheel? Because I'd like to actually paint with the wheel. Let's go nice and slow here. Ah, look at this. Just blue the top. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, a little bit of blue. Now let's go to pink. This is going to be a very bright colored, weird bowl looking thing. Okay, there we go. And what next? I'm thinking orange. All the bright colors. Oh, this is... Even if it's not really a bowl right now, this is very, very fun. And for the final one, let's do a little bit of yellow at the bottom. There we go, a very summer looking bowl. Holy crap! I can't believe I'm surprised I actually made this. Okay, we should probably paint the outside too. Being that the inside's so bright, let's go for a dark color on the outside. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna grab some more blue and kinda just straighten out the top a little bit. I wanna make sure that line, oh God, that's not working. All right, well, I guess it's gonna look like that then. Oh, no, that's gonna bother me. We need to go back. We need to fix it. Oh, that's not even the same color, but I kind of like it. Okay, we're just gonna keep it like that. That's looking pretty damn good. I think I'm happy for my first, you know, not really bowl thing. Uh, maybe that isn't too good, actually. All right, well, we're gonna just paint the bottom here. So you can paint it the ordinary way as well, and just actually paint. Um, this actually might be the better way to do it. I don't know, I figured using the rotational force would make painting a lot easier. And honestly, on the inside, I don't think it would have looked half as good as that without having the wheel here, so I'm pretty happy with this thing. That's pretty damn sick. All right, so we're gonna stop painting, and we are going to go to the firing now. Now, I'm thinking gloss should be good for this one, so there we go. Looks like we're just going to fire it right away. And would you look at that? I think it's done. How much is it worth? That's the question. 90 PPs! Oh, man, I wish I was worth 90 PPs. All right, there we go. So we earned some money. I think we can actually buy something now, so let's go to the shop. All right, you know I have to buy the hammer, man. I mean, that's just that's just what I need. It's only 15. Oh, dirt cheap. You know what? Let's get that. Uh, confirm. There we go. I got me a hammer now. Okay, we'll save that for later. When we do a really bad one, we're gonna break it. All right, but obviously we could use some of these tools too. I have no idea what these top things are. Uh, a machine made for wheel throwing, water trap integrated. So it looks like you have the water inside the wheel thing. Basic throwing wheel, water trap integrated, and runs on electricity. Okay, so all these different types of wheels. What I want to buy, I'm thinking, is the trim tools. That will allow me to do some more complex designs. We already have one of the trim tools, but we need these other ones here. I've actually used these things before, so I kind of know how they work. We're just out of the range. We need 80, so we're going to have to make another bowl before we buy that, though. So let's actually make a bowl this time and not whatever the hell I made there. All right, I'm feeling confident in my abilities now. Let's go crazy. We're gonna make the biggest piece of clay that we can. And I think I'm gonna try and make just a really tall bowl. At least that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see what happens. Sort of like vase, maybe. I don't think it'd really be considered a bowl. What are you doing? My, my hand's doing things on its own. Okay, water it up. Form it. Okay, we're gonna bring up that one. There we go. Let's get that bottom nice and thin. I mean, it's, it's turning into something. I don't know if it's really going to be vase-like at the end of this, but I'm thinking we actually... I might be a natural at pottery making. Okay, kind of looks like a goblet right now. Obviously, we need to go a little bit higher. Keep it going. Keep going upwards. Grow, my son! Yes! I don't know how I'm going to get my hand in here to actually hollow this thing out. We should probably worry about that. So let's start doing some uh, of the internal work. i got to just get my hand right here. Oh, easy. We had it. Okay, there we go. Stick, stick the hand in. Stick the hand in, and now we can actually expand it out, too, if we wanted to. Oh, God, it's getting wobbly. Doesn't look like I can get my hand in any further, though. The hell am I doing in there? We're gonna go where no man's gone before inside pottery. Yeah, I'm gonna need, like, a tool to get in there, aren't I? Because I just don't got big enough hands. I can't... Maybe if it was a bit wider, it would be possible. I mean, it looks awesome, but it's not what I want at all. I wanted to ex expand. Expand it. Yes. 
Come on. Oh, what the hell? No, don't shrink. You were doing so good. It, it has gotten much smaller now. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but it has some innards now, so that's good. All right, now I want to actually tighten this in a bit, so if we push it in... Because we're going to have kind of like an epic stand-looking thing. I'm thinking that's... I mean, it's not perfect. But hey, this is my second one. Let's... Oh, God. No, what am I doing? No, ex expand. Expand. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we get it. Yeah! All right, bring it up. Keep expanding. Look, it looks like a damn tornado. I like it. It's, it's just got a... I don't know. It feels very visually pleasing for me. Oh, what? No! No! Actually, I, I kind of like it. I don't know, I don't know what, what this would be for. What the hell happened there? We, we were doing so good. Oh man, now I've, now, now I have a bowl inside of a bowl. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right, there we go. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I don't want to touch it again in case I break it more. Let's, let's, let's stop it for a second so we can actually see what exactly is going on here. Look at how thin. The, the clay is so thin, it's actually invisible unless you see it on the side. But I gotta say, if we do a few small things here, I think I'm actually gonna saw that part off. Yes, that, that, that's the term I'm going to use. So if we get rid of this, oh god. Okay. I don't think that's doing what I wanted it to do. It's a little wobbly too, hold on. The problem is, I have so many bowls now, the hands don't know where to go. Okay, I gotta say, it's a little wobbly, but I before I break it, I like it. So I think we're gonna finish up here. Do I wanna cut it? That's the question. Oh, actually, I wonder... Oh, this is dangerous. I wonder if I can get rid of some of this. Yeah, flatten that bottom a bit, make it look a little nicer. Okay, there we go. Come on, just gotta get that middle piece somehow. Okay, it's just got a little bowl inside of it too. This, this is bowlception. Look at that thing. How do I get rid of that? Come on. Go away. I, I think I need more tools. That's the problem. Oh, I almost got it. Oh my god, what is going on? It's making a little a little tower. I can't seem to actually get that middle piece down. I like it. You know what? We're, we're gonna keep it. Okay, we're gonna finish throwing. Um, and dry the potter. Yes. Okay, so it's drying. Right? How do, how do I do this now? I want to paint it. There we go. Start painting. Okay, drop it. Grab my paintbrush, because we gotta paint them. All right, what am I thinking here? I'm thinking purple and black would look really cool. So we're gonna do a, a purple and black design. Oh God, this is, this is dangerous. I gotta say, the painting's actually pretty impressive, but it's still very hard to paint these weird spots here, as you can see. We're getting somewhere though. It's looking good. See, this is this weird ledge. How am I gonna paint the world's smallest lawn? Oh, it's actually working. Okay, paint the inside of that clay line there. All right, gotta be honest, I was hoping for a little bit of a darker purple, but eh, it still looks pretty good. Now we're gonna put some uh, black accents on the purple side. Ooh, why is there... there's some weird smudge there. Hold on, let me fix that, or it will forever bother me. All right, but yeah, we want to put some uh, black accents on here, so let's go right here. Oh, God. Is it working? Oh, my God, it's working! Okay, come on. That's looking pretty good. I mean, not bad for my first uh, actual pot here. I'm going for another one here. Basically anywhere where there's a line that I want to hide. <laughs> I gotta say, that's not too bad, and I think on the inside we'll paint it white. Hey, what the hell? What was that? No, I wanna, uh, I'm not done yet. Let me finish. This is very pleasing to do. I gotta say, that's not too bad, damn it! Alright, so there we go. Stop it. It's a lot more ugly when you stop it, because you see all the imperfections. Um, I'm just trying to make money right now, though. And, oh, this is probably a bad idea, but actually, it's not as hard as it seems. You just got to be very careful with the brush strokes. All right, an artist always signs his work, so there. Oh, man, I need, a, I need a smaller brush. How am I supposed to? A, E. If you squint, it's Dre. All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. I'm hoping we earned a little bit more money. Can you go away, fill color thing? Okay, we just got to drop that. All right, I think we're done, right? Yeah, we're going to stop painting. And let's see how much this one's worth. I want to do... Oh, man. I missed so much up here. All right, whatever. It's too late now. We're already done the painting. I should have looked first, and I did do a little bit of a mixed mistake here. Again, I'm very much learning here, but it's... This one's weird, man. It's, it's very fun. All right, let's do matte this time. I, I actually think gloss would be nicer, but I just want to see what matte looks like. Yep, gloss would have definitely looked a lot nicer. All right. Well, how much is this one worth? 181? Man, you guys are dumb for buying that. All right, we're, we're making bank now. What, what, what else can we buy? 
All right, I'm pretty sure we don't have this one. So this is the TS. Yeah, that's a real small tool. All right, so we're getting all the tools now, man. I'm going to make the best pot in the damn world. All right, well, we got the majority of the tools now, so we can actually make some pretty crazy pots. I want to do um, one where I actually just break it. So we're going to try and make just a basic bowl. All right, that's good enough. We don't need to go crazy here. All right, so time to make the old bowl. I got to wash my hands. There we go. So we just want a basic bowl. We'll expand out. Make it go down. We don't need to make go too crazy here. Actually, let's play with these tools. Let's learn how to use these things, being that this is a tester bowl. So I'm thinking this shaves. Yeah, it shaves off, which is actually going to be uh, great for detailing. Can probably, yeah, make it a lot deeper of a bowl too. There we go. Let's go crazy here. Let's use the smaller one. Where's that one? This one right here. Each tool has its own unique use. All right. I just wanted to do something very basic right now, so let's actually try and do this right this time. And we're gonna go right there. There we go. So you did. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a lot smoother that time. I figured out how to use that. Oh, easy now. Get back over there. And look at that. We have a really crappy bowl. Uh, we're gonna discard this. I like how we use less clay for the bowl than what we're discarding. And now we can fire it. Do I? Wait. Can I break it before I fire it? Well, we'll see what happens here. I think I can still break it. All right, there we go. I just want to break it. Yeah! <laughs> okay. I got an achievement. Uh, you Thor. Oh, my God. This game's got jokes. How big can we go? How big can we go? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I broke the game. I actually had a blue screen there. Holy crap. Okay, at this point, I'm just trying to make the world's biggest thing to uh, break because, you know, I'm sick like that. But this is actually... I mean, I can't believe this thing isn't flung off yet. It is... It is not stable at all. All right, st stay stabilized. Stabilized. Come on. Come on. All right, and we're just painting it for the fun of it. I mean, it's actually very fun to paint this game, too. Uh, that should be good. It's art, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, there we go. And... <laughs> Ah, oh, stop painting. We're gonna fire it. This one will do a gloss glaze on it, because why not? I'm actually curious how much this will be worth. Um, 44 PP, so definitely not as impressive as my other ones. Okay, I just wanna, can I, can I hold it and bang it? Yeah! <laughs> oh man, the simple things please me. Alright, yeah, really glad I bought these tools. We're actually able to make bowls now. If I could just get, there we go, get that little, little jerk out of there. Should we, should we go deeper? I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm just going to try and flatten these walls a bit. There we go. That's looking much better. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to stop this once again. Use where, where's, where's my cheese grater at? There it is. Give me that thing. I'm going to cut off. This is, this is the big question. Where do we want to go? We want to go just below kind of where it ends. So something like that should be good. Now we might. Well, we got it done. We might want to change that. Um... Can we put it on upside down? I wonder if we can do that. Discard this. Confirm, because we don't need that. Oh, we can. Okay. Maybe I can do a design. Problem is, I don't think I left much room uh, to do any designs, but maybe I can just out this lip or something a little bit. So let's start it up again. Just going to do a little small concave here. Maybe flatten this side down a little bit. I don't know why, but I felt like doing that. I mean, it very much looks like a flower pot at this point. But that's kind of what I was going for. All right, I don't want to go any deeper than this. I really don't want to screw up this one because this is probably my favorite bowl so far. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That is pottery if I've ever seen it before. All right, we're going to make this one basic. We're just going to do, I think, white in the middle, black on the outside. Just a nice looking bowl. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. We don't have any weird curves either, so we should be able to actually get a good paint line going down. You can actually see the paint strokes, though. I really like that because uh, if you take your time here, you should be able to get them out and make it look seriously impressive. But hey, I'm happy with this. All right, and black on the outside. Yes. Oh, my God. It's so pleasing to do. All right, and there you have it. Now, it's actually kind of impossible to get the edges perfect, so I did my best. I kind of like the look of the design anyways. Very simple, obviously. Oh, I forgot to sign it, of course. We got to sign it, of course. Um... Yeah, we'll just go back to the... I think I'm... Am I on the white? No, the, yeah, that is the white. It looks orange when you put it, your uh, thing on it. So I'm just going to put a D on it. Because uh, trying to 
actually write with this giant thing is not the easiest. That is the saddest signature I've ever seen. We're just going to hide that. All right. There we go. Let's see how much this one's worth. So stop painting, fire, and again, I I, I mean, I do like the gloss. I, I, don't, I don't like matte, so... Yes, look at, oh man, the D went on the outside just a little bit. That's going to forever bother me, but that is the nicest looking bowl I've done. All right, sell that. 145, not bad. All right, this one I call the flower, gotta say. <laughs> I'm getting kind of too into this. This is really, really fun. All right, let's do a mat, because I haven't done a mat in a while. Bowl, 65%, 60%, so it's a 60% bowl. I was going for a bowl, I'll take 60%. How much does this worth? 58 PP. Okay, I think... Yes, that's officially what we needed to buy the next decent piece of machinery here. So, well, actually, there's a, a few cheaper ones. I think this one could be the same as this one, though. It looks similar. I wanted to buy this guy here. Okay, so we can sell this one. Hopefully I did this right. And we don't even really need this anymore. But if we move this, then right here, I think we should be good. Now we just got to... Uh, Set it as default? Is that right? Did I do it right? Oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong side. Okay, I thought I was... Okay, well, that's fine. All right, but it's just like the other one. I thought it was supposed to have water. Am I supposed to maybe pour the water in here? I can't even pour the water in here, so I'm not really sure how to get the water in. Or maybe it's just auto-watered? No, because it says I should wash my hands. Actually, did it stop? No, it says I should wash my hands. So, I obviously don't know much about pottery. I don't know why this one's better, but it looks prettier. All right, and I think that's a good look at Dojagi. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very relaxing experience. I gotta say, I found a newfound love for pottery making. I think I might have to do it in real life now because this was really, really fun. Once again, I want to thank the developers for sponsoring this video. Again, if you do want to check out this game for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.